guys welcome back to the channel and um, today I've got a request from Amy Lee forever now this was the uh, prize that she won for making the best like um, people who view the channel fan base type name and she came up with the Legion because obviously my names leave for people who don't know uh, which was very very cool uh, the, and it was my favorite out of all of the suggestions so thanks for everyone who's taking part by the way and the reaction she's chose is um, Evanescence, uh, Better Without You, one I haven't heard, so I'm quite happy about that. And it's always good to have Evanescence on the channel anyway. I've had some, I've had some move mics in order over there. I've never had a microphone that sits on the desk and it's in my way when I'm using my hands, I keep smacking it. So he's staying there. He still picks up my voice, so I'm not bothered. Um, anyway, back to this. Uh, before I jump into this reaction, if you do like my videos, uh, you never want to miss an upload, then uh, please press like and subscribe. Um, it helps the channel, helps the reactor, blah, 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 everything. And I appreciate it. Anyway, this is Evanescence, Better Without You, Amy Lee's Prize. Music box. Ooh, okay. Like she's um, talking about maybe either um, a divorce or maybe what the split from the band. Uh, whoever left, someone left the band, didn't they? Over uh, and it was it wasn't mutual. It was um, it was uh, like toxic, if you like. And I think I think where she said um, actually, it, it sounds more like the band member leaving um, because she said, "Show me what to say on the dotted line." Um, and you know you can you can go so I think I can't remember the exact lyric but I think this is down uh, at first I thought it was a relationship but now I think it's um, to do with that band member leaving I can't remember what the name was um, let me know in the comments but I'm loving the song I'm loving the, the, the typical Evanescence spin that they've put on this really really cool really really rocky new metal-y brilliant Could be it could be determined as um, a breakup song or end of a marriage song sort of thing. Like obviously going back to the sign of the dotted line and stuff like that, um, and the fact that she's better off without them. But I, like I say, I suppose anyone can interpret this song the way they want to anyway. But I'm taking it as the band member.
is a really, really good song. I like the melody, in it, especially in the chorus as well. Now, obviously, when she's going back, the Empire is going to fall and stuff. That's what swung it for me to to talk about maybe Evanescence. Um, I don't. I'm not sure. Like like I said before, on the story of why whoever left and why what the situation was. But I know it was a bad split from what people have told me. Um, and obviously, I think the, obviously this part of um, their um, journey as Evanescence, they, they, they're probably making better music. Maybe everyone's getting on better. I don't know. It could be anything to do with anything like that. But they're calling this person hollow and stuff like that, so you like unfeeling and what have you. So you know, <laughs> I'll, I'll have to look at the end, the song packs at the end of this uh, song to see exactly what it's about. But it's an absolute banger. I feel like this person in the band then, if it is the band, is obviously um, when she said you're never going to shut me up again, maybe Amy in the band at first didn't voice her opinions on what uh, was going on and maybe the fact that they're split now saying you're never going to, you're never going to shut me up again etc and that your time is over because they've left. Um, the more I'm hearing the lyrics the more I'm, I'm um, convinced it's about the band. really really good song I really enjoyed that a uh, typical evanescent spin on it um, I'm gonna take the song packs in a minute but I'm just gonna say um, thank you to all who participated in that game where um, y'all y'all come up with some great ideas but obviously this is the one I've picked and this is Amy's request because of it um, anyway let's go into the song packs and see exactly what this was about because I'm convinced it's the band right so I've got a quote here for Amy Lee it looks like a quite a long one uh, it says the song is about my journey and some of what I had to overcome to get where I am and where our band is today. I fought many battles for myself and for my music which are very intertwined. Some of them are internal. Each verse is, is for a different obstacle along the way. Starting in the past and ending in the present. There are parts of my story you don't know unless you know me and yes verse 2 is for some of my experiences in the industry. But don't get it twisted, this is deeper and darker than that. Obviously I still have some things from way back to get off my chest. I hope it serves to empower others who have been um, made to feel powerless. So yeah, it's a bit, it's, it's a complete journey of a life actually. Um, but I, obviously she's talking about the obstacles in life. So which maybe whoever left the band um, is one of them obstacles anyway. So it was like a more of a generalization in the band uh, and the, like the journey of Evanescence, if you like. And obviously Amy Lee as well, because if she's wrote it, it's personal to her. Um, what a great, great song. I really enjoyed that. And that was an awesome, awesome request there from Amy Lee. Thank you. And thank you for playing that game. Anyway, if you like my videos, please like and subscribe and support me on Patreon, Discord or Twitter. Then the links are in the description. Thanks for watching us. I'll see you on the next one.